of influencers. What are your demands if it comes to having a boyfriend? Demands? Uh, loyalty, respect, honesty. I think those are the, everyone always wants that, you know. Um, I think allowing the other person to be themselves is so important. I think people get with people and then they end up changing. I think that allowing, the person has to allow me to be me and then understand also that this is my business, this is what I do. You're gonna see, you know, people inbox me or you're gonna see men be a certain way. You have to be able to accept that and if not, then you don't need to be in my life because I just, I'm on a certain path right now where that's most important to me. And it has to be someone I think, that's what I'm realizing that the next person I'm with or if it's the same person I was with before, let's say we do get back together or something happens, that person understands what I do because they're also in the industry. So it has to be someone that's relative to what I do so they understand. Like from late night working or, you know, working on online projects or photo shoots or, you know, this is a full-time thing. This is entrepreneurship and fitness. This is not a nine to five. So people have to understand that you have to, if you want to go to the gym and work out, they have to be on that same mindset to understand that if at 12 o'clock at night I have to work out or at nine in the morning I have to work out or if I got to work out twice a day or if I got to do something to help me grow, then you should want me to grow and grow with me and understand that. And if you're not in the fitness industry, it doesn't have, you don't have to be in the fitness industry, but you have to understand the lifestyle. This is a lifestyle, it's not, you know. But on your Instagram, would you uh, show your private life or only fitness? A little bit of private. I'm gonna start doing that a lot now with YouTube. Um, I finally, after like a year and a half, I created a YouTube channel. And I think people wanna see you. I think they wanna be a little more personalized with, with your life and what you're doing. So um, I'm starting to integrate that. And like when I started doing that now recently, like even on my posts and my comments, interacting with people because I want to know what their opinion is. Yeah. You know, the engagement started to grow. So I think that's really important to start doing that. And I want people to know not too much of my personal life because that's, you know, you've got to have some type of, you know, it's got to be something has to be secret, but a little bit of showing people who you are and helping people re become relative to who you are is something that, you know, I think that's, I think it's a great thing. Do you know Tamri Hembro? Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, would you, um, post like she's doing like with her yeah. boyfriend with her kids yeah. with your family because no, I think that's, that's the works. way well, I think it works but that's the way she built her brand like from the beginning so that's how that's what works for her so she has to stick with it um, and she can migrate a little bit out but I would do something like that but it has to be a transition because people see me first as being alone and building my brand as Melgy Fit and then later on as they fall in love with who I am they'll understand who I am as a person then I can migrate let's say the family and all that stuff into it so, so um, do you want children? Yeah, I want two kids. Actually, I wanted three, but now I'm thinking like, I don't know. Spending time with like um, my nephews over the Christmas holiday, I was like, I think I just went two. Two? It's like four boys, so. When? When, whenever the time is right. You never have a, an answer for that. It's gotta be the right time. What's the right time? Never. Never? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, whenever it is, I don't know, like. For a guy, what's the best way to approach you? The end doesn't work, you said. No, definitely not. Um, I don't really have an answer for that. It just has to be organic. Like, I hate when someone is pushy. I hate when someone questions me. Like, let's say, like, I have a friend and I'm on a date with him and then the next day I'm busy and someone sends me, like, a question mark or, like, why didn't you answer my phone call? Like, that demanding stuff doesn't work. So for me, you just kind of let it flow. I'd rather come to someone and they force themselves on me. I don't like that persistence. It really turns me off. Like I like someone, it, you have to create like a chase. I don't know, it has to create, it has to be organic. I don't know how to explain it, but it has to be something that just is smooth. Things that are really, that work out really well are things that happen organically and there's no like forced, it's not a forced situation, you know? Follow The Multi on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat.